Is Luli May. I'm from the United States. Um, I grew up in Asia and I learned a lot over the years from other cultures and from other languages that I've tried to learn. I've been teaching for over 10 years and really enjoy teaching English maybe because my mother was a English major and she always made us very conscious of the nuances of the language and she taught me to appreciate English and to pay attention to the way that English is spoken how it's used and so I think it's really important that you like the language when you start learning and that you relax and that you um, think about the fact that most people learn to speak a language when they're a child and how we learn as a child is listening and communicating we want people to understand us and we want to understand what they're saying to us uh, right now I'm learning Spanish so I understand how funny it is sometimes to hear an idiom or a phrase that you have no idea it does not translate exactly um, because you're not a native speaker but um, I will tell you that it's really enjoyable when I speak with other people from other cultures that there are so many universal phrases very universal thoughts and uh, even though your cultures might be different there is always a way to communicate. So, relax, breathe, and enjoy the language. And enjoy trying your best. Enjoy learning. Uh, I'm very glad to be teaching English, and I want you to know that we concentrate on listening and speaking skills more than reading and writing. Most people have had enough reading and writing, although we do use a lot of text. Um, we use photographs and stories and uh, even paintings sometimes. As a matter of fact, a lot of the things that I tell my students, I uh, will use the analogy that learning English is something like a game, maybe like a big puzzle that's putting, uh, being put together in front of you. Like maybe a piece of music even you put all the notes exactly where they're supposed to go it doesn't make sense to have one before the other so now that we're putting together this big piece of uh, language the English language puzzle if you think of it like a puzzle it becomes more enjoyable not so uh, rigid and English language is the picture and is the goal uh, learning another language helps you communicate what you want to say and even what you might want to learn. So we're using words like colors in a paintings, different words and phrases uh, to share your thoughts, your feelings, to share information, um, and learn to use all of these pieces as slowly or as quickly as you like, of course and that eventually things come together and it's a beautiful picture that is English and your thoughts that now can be communicated to others and others can uh, understand everything you're saying to them that's our goal by speaking and listening these are the keys <laughs> 